Hello, I am Rafael Mauro Erasmo, chairperson of the U.S. Chemical Safety Board, with a safety message. On February 7, 2010, a huge explosion tore through the clean energy power plant, which was under construction in Middletown, Connecticut. Six workers were killed and many others were injured. The explosion occurred during what is called a gas blow. That morning, an estimated 2 million cubic feet of natural gas under high pressure were used to blow out debris from gas piping that was to be connected to electricity generating turbines. The gas ignited and exploded. The CSB determined that natural gas blows are inherently unsafe practices and should be prohibited. Following the accident at Clean Energy, the CSB issued urgent safety recommendations to a variety of recipients. These are aimed at preventing unsafe practices and saving lives during fuel gas handling operations. The CSB issued a recommendation that OSHA adopt national regulations that will prohibit the release of flammable gas to the atmosphere for the purpose of cleaning fuel gas piping. The CSB furthermore recommended that the National Fire Protection Association, or NFPA, and the American Society of Mechanical Engineers make changes to their codes to require the use of inherently safer alternatives to natural gas blows. These safer methods include using air or non-flammable nitrogen or using a cleaning device called a pig pushed by air to remove debris from pipes. I was extremely pleased, therefore, when the governor of Connecticut announced just three months later that she was issuing an executive order banning the practice of natural gas blows during power plant construction in her state. Governor Rell has provided a model that other states, industry code organizations, and the federal government should follow. The unsafe practice of using flammable gases to clean pipe it needs to stop. Lives can be saved. As Governor Rell said, we must never compromise the safety of any worker. Thank you for watching this CSB safety message.